Good morning. We are going to be having a full day today. We are going to run some errands up in our local city, so about 40 minutes away. It's not even quite 8 o'clock yet, so breakfast was done, devotional, stretching, all my morning routine, and I'm going to reheat my coffee with my coffee wand on our Breville, put it in a coffee mug, get the girls' hair done, brush our teeth, and then we have a Walmart grocery pickup to do as well as go to a midwife appointment for myself. And then we're gonna come back, hopefully be home by lunch. That's the plan, hopefully, right? With two littles, sometimes plans change. So um, that is the plan of what we're gonna do. I'm gonna stop in a different town to pick up some donuts for my midwife, actually, because she had wanted some before um, when she came down to visit here at our house and they were closed. So I have to drive to a different town um, so we're kind of on a little time frame here. I don't have my watch on, but I need to be out the door in about 20 minutes. So I'm going to quickly get some things done here, get the girls ready and get out the door. It is noon right now, so I have leftover lunch in the oven, and I'm gonna share yeah. all my groceries here real quick um, before lunch, hopefully without too many interruptions. So I'll share with you what I got from Walmart here. Okay, so someone on the line, like produce items. I found these. They are a pretty good price for those. So I got two of those. I make my own most of the time, but um, I'm thinking a little bit of baby prep stuff here so that I have a few better things on hand and then I got some sweet potatoes because we love our sweet potatoes I usually get the organic but they seem to rot really fast and then a bag of onions and garlic I need um, like this King Arthur flour I usually get it at Costco the 10 pound bag but I just got this one instead um, I also got some onion sets non-gmo onion sets if you can see that uh, to plant in my garden so the red onion for that one I just bought a few of these we usually get the big box from Costco but I tried this apple cinnamon one we did stop at Aldi real quick to run into the bathroom and I picked up a few things there my husband and I like the dark chocolates so we got those tortilla shells are to make um, enchiladas to freeze all right I bought a few too many mustards but we have three so I'll be stocked for summer and then uh barbecue sauce i think it has sucralose though but i just don't like store-bought barbecue sauce really well i want something more natural so if you have suggestions let me know some tomato sauces three of those um i wanted a pasta sauce and then these are from aldi make our homemade pizzas here i bought a couple of cans of sweet peas i like the frozen as you can see but this will do for now um, just if I need them, I do, like I said, usually have frozen and then a bunch of extra spices like black pepper. I needed some ground sage. I do have fresh sage in my garden, basil. I'll be growing that parsley. I also am growing that and onion powder. And I just got the great value brand. Sometimes you give and take with organic and non some raisins. Girls like the cocoa wheats. So that'll be handy. Then I didn't realize I'd gotten a Havarti from, um, Walmart, so we're gonna try Havarti with that and Havarti from Aldi. I did get more cocoa wheats. And then these are good snacks, and they. I know. And then I got these. The girls opened them for a snack while I was at my midwife appointment. 
um, and then a Great Value Colby Jack. I usually buy bulk cheese from um, Azure, but I missed that deadline this time. I didn't realize I left this in my Walmart cart, so we got a small yogurt, even though you just saw me making some yogurt this morning. A cottage cheese, and then I bought just one pea and carrot, and then a mixed vegetables. Those are so handy for like one pot meals. A hummus, I do make my own a lot, but these are nice to have too. Um, colored peppers, asparagus, carrots. I really like the English cucumbers, some romaine hearts, some spinach, always avocado, and always lots of bananas. We eat so many bananas, so on the app, they only let you get up to 25 bananas, so that's all I can get. And strawberries, they're seasonal right now, so that's wonderful, and then some oranges. Now, I did get a large pizza from Walmart, too, just to have in the freezer, just in case. And then, um, let me show you a few things I got from my local store. I just in my local store, I got a couple berries and some grapefruit, which I should have had this morning. I forgot. They were on sale there, too. And then I got some mushrooms, because we always have mushrooms with our... Um, breakfast too and then I bought some celery from my local store so eggs milk meat a lot of things I do get locally sourced and have a really good organic source for all of that stuff so this is what I have for now I'll need to get the girls their food husband will be home very shortly for lunch and tuck all this stuff away while that's going on so very I feel like the day goes really quick the girls fell asleep in the vehicle on the way home as well so that might mess with afternoon nap time a little bit. They'll probably still have some quiet time. But we'll make the rest of the day work with what it is. We have youth group tonight too because it is Wednesday. So it's going to be an interesting rest of the day. Alright, so I just took care of my yogurt. Got a quart jar and then a little guy. And then just a little bit away. So this one wasn't quite as thick as last time. But it still worked out beautifully. I just strain it from... Um, my strainer here with the tea towel put it in the fridge in that so I catch the way and it's good I got sauerkraut on the counter right there so um, girls are having quiet time we'll see if that actually goes right now or not so girls did not end up napping I did for a little bit while they played around me but we're gonna go to there's a plant exchange um, here in town in our local town that we're gonna hit up and I just dug up a little catmint and some parsley that I had started to um, participate in this exchange. I just saw a sign yesterday, so I don't really know what it's like, but we're hopefully going to see what plants they have. We'll head out there and maybe collect a few plants because it only lasts for another hour. It's like three o'clock, so it goes till four. And then we'll come back and play on this beautiful day outside where blooms are coming on and my tulips have little buds starting to show so i'll have to show you my garden again too all right have i did you buckle yeah. Ooh, a white fox that would be fun i think i'll do that Might have to get a bigger bucket. Or a box, too. Maybe I have to do a box. Orange lily, I have some of those. I already have yarrow. Prairie coriopsis. Oh, some succulents. I got a tomatillo. I've never done those before, so I'm not sure how that's gonna work. There's a couple hosta plants in here and then some hen and chicks and a couple white floxes. So I have some purple ones, but I really wanted some white and to fill out my front area and a couple other areas with something other than grasses that <laughs> I have, decorative grasses. And hostas will work well under um, my crab apple tree. So girls are finishing up a show. Um, they came in to have a snack and a show, watch a show before I plant some of those plants. And so today I'm going to wipe down some of my kitchen cabinets because it is kitchen cleaning day. And with youth group, I don't know when that's gonna get done. I don't know if I'm going or not because girls are didn't get that full nap time. So 
I'm just gonna do a little wipe down of the cabinets here real quick and then see what the rest of the time brings before hubby comes home in about an hour and 15, 20 minutes before I need to do supper. It's about 7.30. I chose not to go to youth group tonight and keep Nadia home since the girls missed their nap and she is down. So I was able to finish cleaning the sink and wiping the floor down and the chairs and get all of that done on my Wednesday cleaning. And then I'm going to just take you outside and share some of the flowers that are popping up a little bit. And then I am going to bring you along at least for part of tomorrow because there is an estate sale in town of a lady who's um, leaving our community and was part of our church body. So um, I thought I would bring you on that, but I am grateful for this little reprieve, just listening to Homemaker Chic right now and enjoying the calm and a little bit of the relaxation, even though it's cleaning. <laughs> I love, I just enjoy cleaning and getting things tidied and set for the next day and even picking up in between messes and things like that. It just is satisfying to me. And um, I'm just enjoying the peacefulness right now of the home. So let's go enjoy a few plants outside. All right, it is the next day and we are headed off to the estate and garage sale. So it's about nine o'clock. So we'll um, hit that up, then we'll do snacks when we get back, um, some playing, things like that, maybe play outside. It's sprinkled a little bit this morning, which it wasn't supposed to rain till tonight. So we'll see what the weather brings. It's a little bit breezier today too, but it's still supposed to be like 70 some degrees. So let's go see this garage sale.
Okay, I'm just gonna share with you real quick what I got. I spent $26, and since it was a friend, um, an older lady from our church, I didn't even barter with her. But I was happy to find these cast iron because um, I might resell those. This one's deep too if I just season it. So that was five. And this one was ten. So if I can just reseason them, I can use them. This is number eight. I think this is like the one I have actually. And what brand is this? This is a number five. So that was a pretty good price because in Antique Boost they're like $20, $30. I did pick this up for my friend, $4 for a Corral Wear piece that she'd been looking for a casserole dish. This is a little small, possibly, for her, but $4 is pretty good. This hat, I think I paid two for. I don't know, I thought it'd be fun to hang, to wear. You never know. So, kind of fun, summery thing. Then, I don't know why I picked this up. It drew me in. I think it's a real wagon picture for three. Probably more than I really should have paid. It's really country-ish, so I'm not sure if I really like that or not, but <laughs> I got it. And then I paid a dollar for all these because the girls liked the little froggies. We'll put them in my garden. I guess the lady really collected a lot of frog garden decor pieces. So we'll just stick those out <laughs> in the garden, but I think that's about it. So it was a little rainy and the girls were wandering around and um, I, I didn't pick up maybe as much as I would have. So I might go back at a different time when um, hubby's around or something to go look or go with him and look as well. Because it's two and a half days for this sale. Um, some things I definitely would buy to resell. Um, but some of the things, like some of the beautiful pictures and decor pieces, I just probably don't need. So... Um, anyways, that is what I got, what we'll see, what I do with those. Girls are watching a little show right now, then they'll have snack, and the sun is starting to peek out, so that is good. You're gonna put it there? Yeah. He can sit in the grass. Well, I haven't really updated you much today. It's been many hours since I've even talked to you, as we've kind of just been inside. It got windy. Um, it's still like upper 60s. The girls had a really solid nap. I worked on my blog. I got um, some more blog posts done, working on videos during nap time. So just kind of my normal routine of what I do right now. So um, the plan is to go out to my husband's work here in a bit after Nadia is still sleeping. She's been sleeping for two hours, so I'm gonna have to wake her. But go out there and check on some of my seedlings that I transplanted to bigger pots and I'll share those with you. So hopefully like next week or the week, well the week after is close to my due date, but next week I can get some stuff in the ground and in pots. So I'm really looking forward to that. So today hasn't been that eventful other than that rummage sale. And I do have to go back and get a few things that I actually um, had the seller reserve for a friend so I will be headed back there later and I'm just gonna do a simple ham pasta for supper with some frozen ham I had in the freezer and some organic noodles I really enjoy from Costco and it's a creamy pasta with some frozen mixed veg I think I shared it in I didn't have the recipe but I kind of made it up so maybe I need to like actually measure stuff out and share that recipe with you so that's kind of the plan for today. Like it's yeah 2.40 right now. I just made some decaf coffee, put a little cream in it in my French press. So I'm enjoying that right now too. But um, yeah, it's just kind of a windy, dreary day, but it's warm. So we'll see what we end up doing for the rest of the day before supper time. All right, so most of my seedlings are snapdragons actually. A few cabbage, some broccoli, they're a little spindly, so I do have a fan on them to help their stem strengthen. But these are all snapdragons, which I love. I love having flowers in my garden. And here's some more. Then I have a um, couple parsley and cilantro as well. So I'm gonna see how cilantro does. It is growing, so we'll see how it does in our climate though. And then all snapdragons. So I do also have three ferns that I saved from last year. So a hanging one, and then I split these two. So they're a little brown, but they'll get back outside and peek up. I might need to actually 
separate some of these out again into some more but ferns can be like $25 or so so it's nice to have a few on hand I also wanted to share at my house here I have tomatoes a bunch of different types and I'm sharing a few because I don't need like 25 tomato plants and then just some other flowers my mom brought and then right back here are my pepper plants so I do have like the hot weather plants here at the house because I started them later mm -hmm. 